Ah, well, good morning to you all. That was kind of very, very Irish, wasn't it? Um, guys, it is Friday morning. I'm sitting here on the windowsill of my new apartment. As you can all see, I'm really happy it's a top floor apartment as well because I can see right across the city. Um, I'll give you all a look, probably right about now. Um, you can see the view that I'm seeing. I'm gonna have a look now. I can see right across the city. It's a really, really beautiful scene. It's a really, really beautiful scene. It's a really beautiful scenery. It's one of those places where as you can see, I'm, I'm sitting on my windowsill, so it's actually quite large. I can fit my mic, I can fit my, my computer, and it's one of those places that even if you're having a bad day, bad morning, you just sit here and open the window and just look across, and it's really, really beautiful. And it really does put you in a good humor as well. So that is the reason why I've decided to do my video here today, because what better place to do it? So I'm on camera today. I know, I'm on camera today for the first time in a long time. Um, I know I used to do the Q&A live streams and I jump on camera every now and then, but it's been so long I thought, yeah, I'm going to jump on, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a special video today and I'm kind of going to be, I'm kind of going to be, I'm going to be on camera and kind of off camera as well because I'm talking about my favourite Harry Potter YouTubers. I think they deserve a lot more recognition than they do get. Um, it really angers me to see really huge channels take their ideas and put them into their own top 10 videos. Seamus. I got you. I know how you feel. But anyway, um, yeah, so today I'm going to talk about my favourite Harry Potter YouTubers. Um, I'm not going to rank them in order because I just don't think that would be fair and I can't separate them in like terms of what kind of YouTubers I like more than other because other others because they are so different and unique in their own way and um, you just can't compare them against each other because each one of them offers something different. So with that being said, I'm going to start um, with my first YouTuber and then we'll go on from there. So guys, enjoy the video. Um, I'm on camera for the introduction and I'll be on camera for the outro as well. So you'll catch me at the end of this video. Maybe I might jump in in between um, the YouTubers that I'm talking about and give my two cents. But other than that, I'll see you at the end of this video. Enjoy. So let's kick it off with the first Harry Potter YouTuber and that is Seamus Gorman. Everyone Seamus, as you already may know, is incredibly talented at what he does because he commands so much presence when he's on screen. Every single time I'm watching his videos, I'm hooked and I'm always eager to see what he's going to say next. But the greatest thing about this guy is the fact that he's so upfront and honest about everything. He's not a people pleaser. He knows the viewer is coming to watch what he's going to say and not what they want him to say. Seamus has made some incredible videos and honestly, if you haven't subscribed to him by now or checked out his content, you are seriously missing out. Next up, we've got the very politely spoken Rebecca Felgate. Seriously, is it just me or does anybody else think her voice is so suited to presenting or radio work? Well, you might even recognise it from Life's Biggest Questions YouTube channel. But it's Rebecca's own channel that I really love because it's just all about Harry Potter. She's been killing it on the Hogwarts mystery game as of late and is just so open and honest about how much she enjoys being a Potterhead. I genuinely love how relatable Rebecca is with her content and it honestly makes me so happy to see how much her channel has grown. Now we've got hands down two of the coolest, funniest and cleverest brothers to ever grace the YouTube screen. Ben and Jay, better known to all of you as the Super Carlin Brothers. If you've come across any Harry Potter theory that completely blows your mind and has millions of views, then chances are it's being created by these guys. The Super Carlin Brothers have amassed over 1.5 million subscribers, an incredible achievement. Each Super Carlin Bro does one video a week and to be honest I can't separate either of them in terms of talent. I honestly never miss a single video they upload because the theories not just on Harry Potter but Pixar too and many other things are just so well researched and well thought out. They are such a difficult act to follow and yet such likeable people. Guys you've got to be subscribed to the Super Carlin Brothers if you haven't already. Vigard, the artist formerly known as Wise Hufflepuff, was actually one of two YouTubers who inspired me to start my very own Harry Potter YouTube channel and now look where I am today. The reason I love Vigard's channel is simply down to two things. Vigard's amazing creativity 
I mean, the guy put on a mermaid fin and swam in a lake for all of you. Now if that is not commitment, then I don't know what is. And the second reason is that Vigard is who he is and he isn't changing for anyone. He puts so much effort into everything he does and his personality comes across so well on screen. I'm about 10 years older than Vigard, but yet the one thing I've learned from him is to always know your value, know your worth and be who you are. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, guys you are seriously missing out. Now it's most likely at this point some of you are wondering, when's he gonna do the bakey? Come on Dean, we wanna see the bakey. Well it's her turn now. Sophie aka the bakey and not the bakery is one of if not the most popular Harry Potter YouTuber I have ever come across in terms of sheer fan devotion and dedication. She is crazy, fun, outgoing, adventurous, loud, wacky and commands such a presence on camera and that is the sole reason why I never miss a video that she uploads. We just don't know what she's going to do next, whether it's declaring her love for Severus Snape who clearly doesn't love her back, or opening her geek gear boxes, fan mail, flying to another country to collaborate with Tessa Netting for the love of God. Sophie really is an all-rounder and I'm not surprised she's loved so much by the Harry Potter community. She definitely deserves your subscription guys. Sophie, you are awesome and keep doing what you do. Speaking of collaborations with Tessa Netting, that's who's next up. Now everyone, I'm going to widely assume that many of you are subscribed to this lady's channel by now. Tessa is one of the most influential, inspiring YouTubers and people I've ever had the pleasure of coming across on screen. In addition to that, she's so talented at what she does. She's an amazing artist, actor and singer. Like really, she's got some amazing songs. Like I love her end of year songs, they're so good. Nessa's positivity is what stands out more than anything. She's not willing to let negativity show and to me, she is the Patronus ready to protect the happiness in every room she's in. And she subscribed to my channel. Life is good. So this next YouTuber is hands down one of the kindest, sweetest and most genuine people around. The Luna Diaries YouTube channel is personally one of my favourite channels on YouTube, not just Harry Potter. Luna is so proud of who she is and really does encourage us to be proud of her achievements too and her videos are so informative and interesting. She caters to an audience of all ages and always offers advice based on her own experiences in certain situations in life. Luna recently had a baby girl, my biggest congratulations. So she hasn't been able to post much but I can't tell you how excited I am to see what videos she has coming up towards the latter half of 2018. Finally, on my list of favourite Harry Potter YouTubers, somebody who I couldn't forget because it was her channel, along with Vigard, that inspired the creation of Harry Potter folklore, and that is, you've guessed it by now, Laura's Always Pottering, probably my favourite Harry Potter YouTube channel if I'm honest. Not to mention her boyfriend is literally a real life version of James Potter. Laura has the incredible ability of blending videos about Harry Potter in with her life struggles, achievements and everyday issues. She does haul videos and sometimes sings, vlogs with her friends and videos of her creating incredible costumes too. And she's so open with her fan base on so many aspects of her life, you can check her making tea videos, that she comes across as so relatable. Even though she's on screen, it's literally like she's talking to you and just you herself in person. If you haven't subscribed to Laura, then you really need to because this is one person you don't want to miss out on. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and turn on those notifications because there's a lot of you that are forgetting to turn on the notifications and you won't get updated when I upload a video. So make sure to tune in tomorrow as well. The life of Flora Weasley, Flora Delacour, whatever you want to call her, is coming tomorrow and I will see you then. And that is all for today's video everyone, thank you so much for watching, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section below and I encourage you to please subscribe and share my videos if you like my content because without your help the channel cannot grow. And with that being said, making videos on a regular basis does cost time, money and a serious amount of effort, however I absolutely love making videos, it's my dream and it's my passion. So if you'd like to contribute to helping the channel to grow for just $1 a month minimum through Patreon, it truly helps and it means that I can put fewer ads in my videos as my Patreon grows. You don't have to donate, this is just 
on the kindness of your heart, the link is in the description below. And please make sure to check out my other videos that will appear on screen and my merchandise link below too. I also have a second channel called Game of Throne Lore that will have regular content uploaded on it very soon. Thanks again for watching everyone, it means the world to me and I hope you all have a fantastic day.